New details tonight on the nearly $1 billion the mayor of Miami says the city needs in order to fight sea level rise. Last night, we reported on that huge number. Tonight, we wanted to know more about where that money will go and where it's coming from. Here's CBS 4's Vanessa Borge. The Miami River swells and the surrounding streets flood. King tides rise and cars stall. So Miami Mayor Tomas Regalado is asking for $192 million to keep it all at bay, pun intended. His budget director, Chris Rose. We know in the future we're going to need it, but even in the present we need it. The money is going toward upgraded flooding pumps, seawalls, and better drainage. One of the massive projects? There are, there are existing pump stations that need to be upgraded. For now, the city is taking on the 100 192 million in a general obligation bond. But it's not a tax increase going forward. We would keep that, that tax rate flat. Mayor Regalado only has months left before he's out of office. Getting this on the ballot for November could be his last big move as mayor. Do you think that possibly the mayor is just doing this because he's about to leave? He's about to be out of office and he wants to make sure this is done before he's gone? I, I'm, I'm not going to speak for the mayor. The mayor, the mayor is, uh, knows why he does what he does. But uh, we know we have this need today. But one city of Miami commissioner thinks more time is needed to determine where the money should go and how much. We need to know exactly what capacity we need in our drainage systems. It's impossible to spend money if you don't know how much capacity you need. Commissioner Francis Suarez is also the only mayoral candidate this November. If he becomes mayor, Suarez says he'll make the push for similar plans. Right now, he thinks it's time for more research, not votes. It's worrisome to put to a question to the voters of that magnitude, where they essentially have to approve $300 million of spending, 190 of which is, is a, a sea level rise mitigation, um, without having a plan in place. Next Thursday, Commissioner Suarez and his fellow commissioners will vote on the proposal. If it passes, then on November 7th, voters will head to the polls and approve that proposal. On Miami River, I'm Vanessa Borge, CBS 4 News Tonight.